today I'm going to make my most favorite dessert, banoffee pie with homemade caramel. Let's start. First, the pie shell. Place one and a half cup of crushed gray ham, one fourth cup of brown sugar, half cup of almond flour. This is optional. I love adding almond flour to my pie shell because it adds a nutty flavor to my crust. And then add half a teaspoon of salt. Next thing I'm going to add is 3 fourth cup of melted butter. Mix until we get a crumbly texture. Add the egg and mix again until everything comes together in a bowl and started looking like a dough. Now I'm using an 11 inch tart tin with removable bottom, but if you don't have this, you can use an oven safe pie plate, glass ones or tin ones. So let's get a small clean paper towel, dip in the melted butter, and wipe it onto your tart tin or pie plate. Make sure you wipe the sides as well. Pour in the mixture and press it against the bottom and side of your plate. I prefer using my hand to flatten the dough so I can fill the thickness of my pie shell. Make sure to press the sides as well. You can also get a parchment paper and press it against your dough. After this, we'll chill this until firm for at least two hours. Preheat the oven at 325 and bake it for 20 to 25 minutes until it has browned evenly. After baking for 25 minutes, place the shell on a baking tray and let it cool. Slice the bananas about half inch thick. Poke the pastry with a fork. Make sure the shell has cooled down before filling. Now arrange the bananas close together in the bottom of the pie shell. Put the chocolate chips and set this aside while I do the caramel. For the caramel, pour half cup of melted butter and half cup of brown sugar in a medium saucepan over medium high heat. Once this starts to bubble, stir in the condensed milk. Continue whisking and then add salt and vanilla once the mixture returns to a full simmer. Cook for exactly one minute while whisking. And then turn off the heat. Pour the filling over bananas and spread if needed. Make sure all the bananas are covered. Then cool this to room temperature and then chill for at least an hour before topping. While waiting, I also make my own whipped cream using whipping cream, vanilla, salt, powdered sugar, and powdered milk. Or you can get a store-bought whipped cream. Now my pie is cold. It's time to put the cream. Spread the cream over a chilled filling. For me, 
I like using piping bags so it's less messy. You can spread the cream however you like. And then top with sliced almonds and more chocolate chips. Chill until ready to serve. Here's my finished product, banoffee pie with homemade caramel. I hope you try this at home too. Happy eating!